Not so fast, Mr. Meyer. We've come to one of those moments in every organization's history that deserves some special attention. Bob joined the foundation in 1993 and was named president two years later. Now he's attempting to retire. Heather Dahl, the rest of the board, and I are throwing as many obstacles in his path as we can, but I'm afraid it's a losing battle. In his two decades leading this foundation, Bob has endured countless hardships, including trips to Barcelona, <laughs> Paris, Lille, a couple of jaunts to Mexico, and what he claimed was a scouting trip to Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> what you were scouting, I'm not sure. I will leave that to your imaginations. Seriously, there is no metric that we can use to measure Bob's contributions to journalism, not just here, but as you heard, around the world. In 2013 alone, NPF's webinars and other resources were viewed some 438,000 times, and 300 journalists attended our programs in person or online. It's really impossible, though, to measure how many thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or even millions of lives all those journalists have touched with their reporting. And that's the real measure of Bob's contribution to our profession. Those contributions will continue even after he makes his escape. Because the most important of them may be the way he has helped steer the foundation into this new chapter in the history of journalism. He's expanded our online programming, turned to new sources of funding, some of it from companies that didn't exist or were still in the garage when he took the job. So Bob, your staff, which will miss you even more than we do, has prepared a little surprise for you. Oh. Let's watch. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Clark Hoyt here. Oh Remember me? I'm the guy who uh, had some role in getting you to the National Press Foundation so many years ago. And I'm very proud of that. You have done an outstanding job. And whatever you're going to choose to do in the future, um, uh, whoever you'll be associated with is going to be very, very lucky. Uh, and I just wish you all the best. Hey Bob, they tell me that you're retiring, so I'm here to talk you out of that decision. No, seriously, thank you so much for your service to the National Press Foundation. You have an incredible legacy, making thousands and thousands of journalists better, including myself. We'll miss you. Congratulations. So Bob Myers, the ultimate bi-coastal guy, grew up in New York City, went to UCLA, moved to Washington. So he's got that kind of West Coast laid back style, but inside that East Coast intensity. And that served NPF really well. Because Bob has led this institution at a time of extreme importance, when the NPF mission to train journalists was never more important because financial problems in the industry meant organizations couldn't do it for themselves nearly so well. And Bob, I think, has done two really important things for the National Press Foundation. He took it international and he took it into the high-tech world. Served the institution extraordinarily well. He's been a really nice West Coast kind of guy all the way. So Bob, thank you very much. Bob, I think you've done incredible things at the National Press Foundation, especially in taking it international. I'll never forget when we took a bunch of uh, journalists from around the world, including Africa, to Australia in the middle of their coldest winter ever. Thank you so much for all that you've done for journalists and journalism. And, and for me, I feel like I got uh, the start to my journalism career at the National Press Foundation. And thank you for all you did to instill a love of journalism in me. Bob, you are retiring at such a young age. I was surprised to know that you are retiring. It's a surprise for me. But believe you me, Bob, you made me as a journalist. Not me only, but thousands of journalists across the world are reporting and broadcasting because of you only. 
you are the really gem of a person. You developed me, you nurtured me, and gave me the reporting skills. Thank you, Bob. Thank you so much. Bob, every member of the staff, past and present, has learned something important from you. Thanks for the stories, for the wisdom, and for being such a mensch. Here's to you, Bob! Thank you all very much, and to everyone who participated in that video, I'll call you. <laughs>